Oh, hi, teachers. Good morning. Can you hear me? Good morning. Am I clear? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Yes. All right. So we're actually still waiting for the other teachers to join. So while we're doing that, I will type the house rules in our chat box. So once I send it, um, kindly go through it, okay? Okay. A second. Um, almost done. Window day. Charger. Charger. Okay. Hey teachers, I've already sent our house rules. Um, while you're reading the house rules, I will check your attendance. So I'm going to call your names. And once if you're here, just, you know, let me know that you're here. Okay. Okay. So um, do we have um, Melissa here? Is here. Melissa here? Okay, great. Here. Yes. Okay, what about um, Brian? Yeah, here. Brian's here. Jenny? Do we have Jenny? No. Oh, what about Joanne? Is Joanne here? Nope. Mark Anthony? Right Do we here. have Mark Anthony? Okay, right great. Great. Um, Lizelle, is Lizelle here? Nope. Um, Bea, is Bea here? Yes, Miss. Bea's here. Um, RV. I'm here, Miss. RV's here. How about um, Vanessa? Do we have Vanessa? Nope. Christine, is Christine here? I'm here, ma'am. Great. Um, how about Risa? Present, ma'am. All right. Lance? Do we have Lance? Here, ma'am. I'm here, Paul. Lance, okay. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a guy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what about Cherry? Is Cherry here? I'm here, ma'am. Okay. All right. So, guys, um, please again, again go through our house rules. I will follow up on those teachers who are not here. Okay. You missed my name. I don't have you on my list. Who did your interview and the demo? HR Shani. Okay, she actually she scheduled me for four p.m. Um, she requested for yeah. 4 p.m. yesterday. It so happened that I'm I was not available, so she gives me this link for today's meeting. Okay, so yeah, you're actually in my 4 p.m. session uh, schedule later. So I'll, yeah, but it's okay. I'll, I'll include you today. No problem in that. Ah, okay, thank you. Yes, uh, yes, it. Um, me too, Miss Rocks. I was not mentioned Eric earlier. Uh huh. Mary Chris, uh, yes. who did your interview and demo? Uh, HR Joy. Joy. Okay, got Wait, wait a second. Are you uh, a new trader or you, were you a former active talk trader or no? I am new. New. Okay. Yes. So I don't have your information yet, but I will do a follow up with Joy. But it's okay. Uh, you can still con you can still join. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem. Uh, just a second. Hey, Joy, Joy. Okay. Who else? Uh, aside from uh, Lorraine and Mary, Chris, uh, who else didn't I call? I already called uh, everyone. Is Joanne here? No, there's no Joanne, right? 
Okay, because she's actually messaging me on Skype telling me that we have a training at 11, but she isn't here. <laughs> so, wait. I don't think. Okay, uh, Mark, were you able to access your Twitter client already? Not yet. I tried yeah, uh, yesterday, but the uh, logins is not working. It says here incorrect Mark? her name. Oh, I'm on mute. Mark! <laughs> I was, I was, I was actually talking, and I, I noticed I was on mute on this, in Zoom. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I tried yesterday, but it didn't work. It says uh, incorrect username or password. Uh, it was. Uh, what about now? Uh, did you, did you inform your HR about it? Yes, yes, I did uh, last night. And, uh, she told me that during the training, uh, you guys will be providing me a new login. But. Let me try one more. Uh, just try to log in. With the provided username here. Second. your Twitter's name and TOID, the ones that your HR has given you, I'll ask our manager to uh, reset, okay? Okay. So, 2018. Still the same error message, incorrect username or password. So let me send you my logins. The... Not, not the logins. Um, send me your Twitter's name and your uh, TOID. Oh, okay. Here. All right. So, uh, anyway, um, yeah, while we are, I guess we can have our so, pre-job training. All right. Now, before we start, uh, let's get to know each other. Let's do a very quick introduction. Miss Roxy is fine. Now, I've been working in Akatsok for more than seven years. And before Akatsok, I also worked as a customer service representative for six years. Now, basically, I also conduct interviews and demo classes. However, for now, I'm in charge of rehiring former Akatsok shooters and, of course, doing the trainings. Now, when it comes to I have a seven-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son, and I think for those of you here who already have kids, you do understand why I don't have a hobby, right? Once you have a baby or a toddler, it's kind of difficult to do the hobbies that we used to do before. Do you agree? Maybe? Yes. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> yes. No, but, no, I don't. Um, yes, it is. You don't? Okay. So let's hear it um, later once you, uh, you're going to do the introduction. <laughs> All right, sure. but anyway, um, if ever that I get lucky to have a free time, I still stay at home. I enjoy watching movies, criminal documentaries, or Japanese animes. And I'm also into playing games, so I do mobile games and computer games. So that's what I usually do every midnight <laughs> because that's the time when my kids are already sleeping so yeah i guess that's all about me now let's hear it from you teachers let's start with lorraine okay um good morning everyone um my name is lorraine and you can call me yeah yeah and um i don't have any experience with um tutorial classes or um maybe uh, in a teaching um company or like schools however most of my um work experience are from bpo so i started as a customer service representative um 
I only have two um, companies, which is um, since 2012 until 2001, almost 10 years in BPO industry. And after that, I transitioned to a freelancing job. My freelancing jobs are seasonal, which is an outbound cold caller. And I'm sure everyone is kind of familiar about it. My hobbies, um, I have kids, but I'm not into like um, physical activity. I'm more into watching movies and just um, singing with my kids, just like that. And nothing more. <laughs> Right. So when you mentioned that you were doing freelancing, um, the seasonal accounts, are this uh, are these accounts like real estate or customer service? It's more sales account. Um, the first account that I work with is so we offer or um, I had like um, it was like three weeks. I did not add it or include it on my work experience because it was just um like um like a friendly assistance because um one of my friend they are in need of like additional headcounts so i started with an appointment setting we book an appointment to speak with our financial advisor and then secondly which is the the the, the my first with the contract account is it's also in for three months. Um, that was for um, we offer like a business loan for small business owners, and then after the three months time, I uh, I worked with um, Southeast Energy Consultants where we offer a price protection with their utility bills. It's more on sales. Yes. You know what? I, I used to do sales before. Um, however, I stopped because the first account that I was in was we were actually offering our clients or customers um, for them to purchase this glucometer, you, you know, for, for the, the, the thing that you use to, to measure your sugar. Oh, yeah. Now, when I did that, um, you know, it really it, it's really bothering me because whenever I call the clients and they usually tell me their life stories, like how did they get diabetes or, you know, how hard it is. So it, it's it, it's affecting me. So I only lasted for like a month or two because you know I don't want to hear those kind of things because it's it's um, affecting my mental health. I don't want to, yeah. you know, I, I I I feel bad for them. I feel, you know. So that's why I just, you know, I, I prefer doing inbound customer service, no matter if your customer keeps on shouting at you or being irate with you. It's like it's your fault. But <laughs> yeah, it's better to do that than to listen to, you know, because <laughs> yeah. even if, you know. But anyway, thank you so much for that, um, Lorraine. Now, no, no. yeah, let's continue with Melissa. Okay, hello everyone. This uh, I am Elisa, and I am from Argentina. Uh, right? <laughs> the, uh, okay, Missy? great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just graduated from. Uh, like I just became an English teacher. I just graduated like two months ago. And mm -hmm. it was a hard uh, path because uh, in my country, I don't know why, but studies take too long because life is also like, like uh, it's not very organized. So we have to improve on that. And um, yeah, I graduated two months ago and I was trying to find a job. And about a week ago, I, I entered to work also uh, in, a, in a call center but i don't sell things i just offer a benefit uh, to elder people that mm -hmm. is for free to them because it's given by their health health plan so mm -hmm. it's nice because sometimes i get to speak to nice people that mm -hmm. you know they are kind sometimes they also they don't want to talk and <laughs> they just hung up on the phone but um, it's a new experience, and I feel like uh, every new experience, maybe 
it couldn't be like really nice, but every new experience will give you uh, new tools to manage your life and to grow and improve yourself. So I'm trying to see it that way. And um, yeah, I'm just starting to work now. I, I here I feel so great to be part of you and be sharing this time with you, meeting you. And I hope uh, we all get to to be the teachers we want to be online. That I think it's super great working online and reach to a lot of students and have fun with them uh, through the screen. Exactly. Like guys, um, do not forget always. Okay. Um, even if you're, you know, even if you're teaching these uh, students of ours, but that's the one of the most important thing to have whenever you're teaching online is to have fun as well. Okay, because uh, you know, studying is. I'm not sure if you all agree with me, but uh, sometimes studying can be a little bit boring, right? Especially if you're just in too focused on the lesson without any, having any fun. So try to incorporate you know games or try to make your student laugh while you're um doing their lessons okay so anyway melissa are you are you currently working with your um, customer service company or not not anymore yeah yes i am i just started mm -hmm. a week ago and mm -hmm. uh at least i have to work with them a month because we already signed the contract and i feel like it's great and uh, I have time for the two jobs now because I have all day uh, for myself to keep working on the two jobs. And yeah, it's a great experience. And I currently don't have time to to do any hobbies. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um, Even though I don't have kids, but my house is a mess because I don't have time, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 a fresh graduate, so the focus is you know doing more work, more jobs. So hobbies will definitely come sooner or later, right? Yeah. Especially once you start earning, once you you're you're already comfortable with the the salary you're earning, then hobbies will definitely come along. I'm All right. Sure, so anyway, yes. thank, <laughs> thank you so much thank for you. that, Melissa. Now let's have Lance. Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Nancy Liliado. Same as Melissa, I am also a fresh graduate. Uh, I don't have any teaching experiences. I'm a fresh graduate, but um, when I was a second year student, I experienced also working at customer service, but I didn't last long because I need to attend my class. I handle Amazon I'm sorry, I handle Amazon account there where we relocate their packages and and we fund their uh, money. Mm -hmm. uh, what I learned in my work there is to have a lot of patience and control my emotions. So mm -hmm. that also helped me in teaching because we also experience um students who is very silly and uh, bad having a bad attitude so <clears throat> i enjoy being alone sorry <laughs> i enjoy being alone so my hobbies is just watching movies listening to music just like that so i also want to <clears throat> work here in akad song because i'm just here comfortable in my home I didn't have to go outside to, you know, socialize with other people uh -huh. <laughs> because I'm kind of introvert. So I like just being alone, enjoying my company. Oh.
a teaching experience so this will be my very first but i had the opportunity to train my team during my eight years of experience as a team leader where and i developed strong leadership skills by guiding my teams through improvement projects outside my work um same as what Ms. Rock said earlier, I really do not have any hobbies, but I'm very much passionate about cooking and experiment with new recipe um, because this is where I practice my creativity, inventing menu, and this will also give me the um, means for attention to detail and anything that I can innovate inside my kitchen. So, but during my spare time, I also watch movies and TV series in Netflix. This also practice my critical thinking and awareness. So even if it's like uh, four or six seasons, I will try to finish that in less than a week, maybe. <laughs> uh, it's for me to at least uh, stress, stress out uh, all the things that we have, especially this uh, time it's very hot <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's it so I'm just really trying to uh, uh, be calm even if the weather is not really good <laughs> true true so are you also into because a lot of uh, people are into k-dramas these days right are you also into k-dramas yeah before but i'm not really into love uh <laughs> stories anymore since i'm a single parent i guess that's that's <laughs> out of the story <laughs> all right why not right like <laughs> We have our own reasons, and yeah, I'm not into K dramas as well because I don't know. It's just that for me, I think it's it, I feel I feel um tired to read subtitles, but I do watch animes, Japanese animes. So oh, wow. whenever it's an anime, it's not tiring for me. But if it's like love stories, usually I just but I just fall asleep. <laughs> Even if they say that that, that K drama is really nice. Um, what's the popular one right now? Uh, Queen of Tears, I guess. Queen of Tears, I guess. That's uh, mm -hmm. one of the top tens in Netflix. <laughs> but yes, it's still I only ongoing. Knew, <laughs> right. I only knew that that's one of the most popular these days because a lot of my trainees this past few days, whatever they tell me about their hobbies, they always say, I, I'm into K drama, watching, uh, currently watching Queen of Tears. It's always like Queen of Tears, so why not, right? Okay. All right, but anyway, thank you for that, Mary Chris. Now let's have R.V. Jansen. Okay, hello, everyone. Good morning to all of you. Uh, my name is R.V. Jansen Tado, but you can call me Teacher Marshall because uh, this was the name given in my previous company. I work as an ESL teacher in QQ English for four consecutive years and then it really taught me how to adjust my teaching strategy when it comes to online and offline teaching and I've met some students yeah different students like Japanese Chinese Korean Taiwanese and they have really different backgrounds and we need to adjust to their pacing when it comes to their culture their interest and so mm -hmm. on and then yeah i quit my job because qq english doesn't offer flexible schedule and then they don't have home-based uh teaching so which i really want these days because I regret my decision last pandemic, you know, uh, when there when it was pandemic, uh, the company just put us in lockdown and we're not allowed to go out and meet our family. So <laughs> that was the, yeah, miss. We were, we were in, a, in a hotel. We conduct online teaching. And then I did not meet my family for one year because I'm allowed to go inside. But we can call them. We can, but we shouldn't. We I can't meet 
them in personal. Yeah, that's why. Because I, oh, very long time is because the pandemic was very mm-hmm. crucial that time. Uh, so I have no choice. And I don't want because I still need to earn money that in that crisis. So right now I'm planning to apply in Akadzok. I just but today I'm I'm applying for multiple jobs, but Akadzok mm-hmm. is the first one to hire me <laughs> and to be mm-hmm. part of this uh, teaching institution. So I just grab this opportunity and continue until I get fully hired. And for my hobbies, of course, I like reading because I'm an English graduate. I know. Yeah, I am an English and education graduate. So I really like reading because I can learn a thing or two. I, I really like also to write articles or any script. Yeah, to practice. And I'm into photography as well. I like traveling. And I also like to discover new things, like such as cooking, because sometimes I live alone, so I need to help myself in cooking. <laughs> and then I want to try blogging too. Yeah, I don't have a choice, Miss. So I need to cook for myself. <laughs> and then and then what else? I also like to watch K drama as what of you as most of you said, and because I have a lot of biased actors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm in favor with most of the actors in Korean. And then I use the Lock Lock application whenever I watch because it's free and you don't need to subscribe, <laughs> unlike Netflix, something like that. And yeah, I also play video games, mobile games these days to kill the time. But maybe in this job maybe i would sacrifice most of my hobbies because i need to focus and i'm very dedicated when it comes to overtime or over yeah over work overtime days like that or over overtime hours so that's it miss thank you so much that's actually good if you were um if you're willing to add more hours because especially summer is coming um there are a, there there's going to be a lot of students you know on vacation so they're just at home so most of our tms or the tutors manager they usually ask uh, tutors to render more hours but again that's not something that you're required to do it's it's voluntary all right and they they would request you to open more hours on the week especially on the weekends and for them to get more tutors to open they usually give out bonuses like if you open these days you'll receive this one so on and so forth so why not right um i guess this that's going to be um you're going you're going to be the uh, you're going to be one of those teachers who will be working all throughout the summer <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? Um, sa- it's not really necessary for you to really sacrifice your hobbies. Like multitasking, why not? Right. Um, before when I was when I was still teaching, um, when I was still a tutor here, I I am in front of my computer. However, I also have my TV on the side just in case that you know, um, while the student is talking, I'm also watching the the movie that I'm watching. You know, multitasking is real here. <laughs> All right, but anyway, thank you so much for that, um, RV. Now, yeah, let's continue with Brian. Hi, guys. Good morning. My name is Brian. Um, Well, uh, basically, I'm already an old cow. (laughs) Uh, Well, um, I I have a bachelor's degree in economics. Most of my batchmates Mm. are already teachers, but, well, you know, Life is unpredictable, so supposedly okay. I I got this course because I this is a preparatory for me for for law. However, mm-hmm. you know something happened along the way. Uh, yeah, so I ended up in the call center industry, BPO mm-hmm. industry. 
So I've been there good for, for quite some times now, like uh, since 2012. So yeah, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. So I have handled um, multiple uh, accounts already or line of business from sales to technical support to customer service. So yeah, I guess I have already experienced every line of business Mitis. with the BPO industry. So yeah. Sadi, dai, sadi. Um, Inai. I already got two kids, two lovely daughters. So one of the reasons why as well that um, currently I'm not working or trying to to do um, online tutoring so that I could take care of my kids. Like my partner and I, we had an agreement that we are going to make sure that we prioritize prioritize the welfare of our kids. So basically she'll, she will be the one to be working Uh, at night, mm-hmm. I'll be staying home to take care of the kids. At the same time, I'm gonna be, well, doing this online tutoring. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, I think mostly that's it. That's about it about me. Also, I am I love um, cooking. Mm-hmm. One one of my hobbies as well is yeah, in terms of hobbies, rather, um, I love to do gardening. Uh, it's one way to li- relieve my stress. Like the other day, uh, I have already harvested the first batch of my okra. So yeah. Wow. So I've got free food now. Exactly. So, yeah. I've got to grow like, my own food. So yeah, that's one of the benefits of well growing your own veggies. So another hobbies of mine is I also love music. Like actually, I or I played drums in a band. So, wow. yeah, one of my extra extra incomes as well. So if ever uh, there are gigs, so I got to make sure that I could play with my band. Uh, that's one of my passion as well. Before I met my partner, I have made sure that I could, uh, well, implement that. My first love is music and playing drums is one of my priority. So, yeah. That's why I don't agree with you earlier, Miss, regarding hobbies. So I cannot take that one out of my life. It's part of me already. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. All right. Okay. So, you know what? I'm, I'm, I really like it when people say that they're into planting because it's, you know, you mm-hmm. you are actually doing the things that you you enjoy doing, right? Exactly. You're passionate. Yeah. Time you can benefit on your hobby, right? Like you, just like what you mentioned, you you actually grow your own food, and you don't really have to go to the palenque just to buy these vegetables anymore. And well, as we of know, course you still do, but uh, you just need to buy some of the things that you don't have mm-hmm. at home. Yeah, yeah. At least um, it's it's already like somehow you're saving exactly. because um, we know these. These past few months or maybe years, inflation is real. Like mm-hmm. everything is very expensive these days. So as much as possible, we have to really look for ways on how we can save and True. we can, you know, we maximize the things that we already have. We can do for us to be able to, especially since we have kids, like, mm-hmm. you know, we want to give them everything that we they they need, they want, right? But if the inflation keeps on progressing, I am heat up there. <laughs> right? It's too difficult, but why not, right? We're parents and we can do miracles when it comes to our kids, right? Exactly. All right. But anyway, thank you so much for that, You're Ryan. Uh-huh. Now let's have a cherry. I cannot hear you. Is it just me or my not audible now? Um, I can hear you now. However, it's not very clear. Like um, it's cutting in and out, or maybe the volume is not um, loud enough. How about this, ma'am? Yes, better. Can you hear me? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm pleasant to everyone. I am Chari P. Pagongpong from Bukidnon. Uh, this is the first job that I that I applied since just like the others. I am a fresh graduate. And then I just graduated last August last year. And 
right after my graduation, I took the board exam for teachers and by God's grace, I passed last December and mm -hmm. uh, I, I cannot say that I have an experience since I did not uh, land a job after my graduation because I took uh, the board exam seriously. But while I was waiting for the results of the board exam because uh, uh, when you are taking the board exam, it's not the review that is so hard, but the waiting of the result, which is so exhausting, like it makes like you want to cry just by waiting your board exam. So I've been in during those with waiting season, I was involved with outreach program. If you are kind of aware of a an organization called Bugtao Philippines, they are an organization that are doing outreach program to those children, giving them free books. And I was involved with that kind of organization uh, just last year. And we had our outreach program recently, last March. So um, actually, I love being with kids. I love um, kind of teaching them because I believe that a knowledge is something to be shared, not kept by our own. And about my habits, mom, uh, because maybe I am a language uh, graduate student, um, I love reading and also currently I am practicing, practicing ukulele, ma'am. That's all, ma'am. Ukulele, okay. My, my daughter is also learning ukulele this in school. Now, I was about to say something, I just forgot. <laughs> okay, so... You just um, graduated, and just like what you mentioned, um, it's not the exam that is difficult, but it's the waiting for the result, right? Even if I didn't take uh, any licensure examination, but I did experience the anxiousness of waiting because m my sister took the nursing licensure examination just last, uh, I think that was last year, and and if you know, if you remember, I'm not sure if you have noticed, but the the result of the nursing licensure examination was actually um, very thrilling because they said that they're going to post it these days and then it didn't come out like there were there were a lot of the uh, there were a lot of tutors who actually actually sorry there are a lot of students who actually were very anxious of waiting the re waiting for the result they they said they're going to release it at this day but it was released like three days after so imagine for Maybe for three days, we weren't able to sleep well because we were just um, on the PRC page waiting for it to come out. So even if I didn't take any examination, but I did experience that, like, you know, being anxious or um, being impatient of waiting for the result. And even though it, it wasn't even my examination, <laughs> I didn't know why. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for that, I'm Cherry. Now let's um, continue with uh, Jenny. Hi, good afternoon. Can you hear uh, me, ma'am? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. So good af um, good morning, everyone. I am Jenny Famulagan, and you can call me Jen. And also, I am a fresh graduate. I graduated last um, May 2023. And I had my beauty rest <laughs> for six months. And recently, I took my board examination last March 17, 2024. And now I'm just um, waiting for the result and hopefully praying that it will be a success. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. And now I currently looking for a job and ended up here in Akadsak. And in terms of my hobbies, Okay, I do love watching K-dramas. <laughs> and currently, I am watching Queen of Tears. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and yeah, waiting for the next episode this Saturday and Sunday. And also, I do love singing. But I don't know why singing doesn't love me back. <laughs> I don't worry. It's a time. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I do have a lot of puppies and dogs. I love dogs. They're mm -hmm. so cute. <laughs> That's yeah. all. For, How that's many all dogs for. do you have? I have three dogs, one male and two females. And those two fem females have five puppies right now. Oh, wow. So, so much. 
are you planning to like sell those puppies or you know yeah i'll just i'll just those... give sorry you're on mute i cannot hear you now <laughs> i'll give them po to <laughs> the fur mamas love dog okay. lovers I see, I see. Yeah, because since you already have one male and uh, two females plus five, so that's gonna be eight. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> and, so much. And as we know, as what they say, once you have uh, puppies, uh, pets, it's like having kids as well. Yeah, right? yeah, you yeah. I mean, uh, they it's can all be quite expensive. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> all right. So anyway, thank you so much for that, Jenny. Now let's have uh, Melrose. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi. So my name is ma'am. I am not very fluent in English, but I I, I am very kind of I will do my very very best. And I am a fresh graduate also, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I am a married. I have one son. He is now uh, already four years old. And I am so happy when I get the um, the message about that I am passing the demo of the Akad sock so that I am so very grateful. And in terms of my hobby, ma'am, I am I love reading and singing. And that's all, ma'am. Okay, so this is your first time to work as an online tutor, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you know what? Um, if it, if you're saying that you're not uh, fluent when it comes to the English language, um, you know, don't stop learning. Watch videos, you know. Um, just keep on watching English movies. Follow how they say you know how they they say their lines, how they pronounce words, because uh, that is most of most of uh, the tutors here, they actually oh, uh, learned just by watching movies. So, you know, keep on, um, just keep on learning is what they say. Like every day is always a learning process, right? Yes, you always will uh, learn new things uh, as the day pass. Okay. All right. But just don't, just always sound confident and do not, you know, do not lose that confidence because once that you're not confident anymore, then that's where um, you're, that's where you'll mess up actually. Okay. Hey mom, thank you. No problem. All right. So thank you as well. Um, Melrose. Now let's have Risa. Hello everyone. Good morning. Um, I am Risa Abbas Doroha. Um, you can call me Riz or whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so I graduated. Um, I am 27 years old and um, I am from Digo City, Davao del Sur. I graduated Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology. So I did not pursue my profession oh my because um, when I take the board, <laughs> my God, it's very hard. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't make it. But for now, I choose to be a um, full-time mom, and um, I'm already a parent, and I have kids. I am the one who helps them with their homeworks and projects. So um, we love to travel and eating, and I don't have really um, hobbies, mom. But during mm -hmm. my spare time, um, I used to watch um, videos on YouTube. Actually, I just saw the video of Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> I just saw yes. your... Yeah, I just saw his video on YouTube. His content is about his um, interview and final demo here in Akadzok, actually. So, um, during my spare time, I, um, I usually bond with my kids and play with them. That's it, ma'am. All right. So, how many kids do you have, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I have two kids, ma'am. Two kids. I see. And this is also your first time, right, to work as an yes, online tutor? Yes, ma'am. Right. All right. That's okay. So, thank you for that, uh, Risa. Thank now, you, Now, let's um, continue with uh, Lizelle. Lizelle, you hear me? Hello. Hi. Do you guys somehow hear me? I'm having yeah. a 
trouble of yeah, my connection. Oh, All right. Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. So, hi, uh, my name is Elizabeth Lambanton. I am 24 years old. Jo, okay. Jo. So hi, my name is Lizelle M. Banton. I am 24 years TV. old and I recently graduated Yay! on year 2022 and I graduated at Victoria University Tabaco Campus and I took up Bachelor of Science in Fisheries. So I don't have any experience yet on any ESL company or BPO company, but I previously worked at the local government unit in specifically on um, agricultural and environmental and natural resources office so it's related on my course and um, I was assigned to do an interview to the clients about their concerns and about the um, insurances and um, insurances and other um, and other um, assistance that the government offer to the um, um, fisher folks and other farmers in our municipality. So I also do um, paperwork in our office about their details and uh, um, do a lot of travel um, on work related and of course be the okay, masters of ceremony TV. whenever there is a program or training so on my um, about my hobby um, i am active dancer way back when i was in high school and college so i i and i also do um, um choreography on on any genre of dance and i usually um, teach kids way back and mm -hmm. i also do um watch um, any k drama also on my free time and oh. of course cooking and watching any um anime. Oh, another type of That's time. All. so you, you're uh, you're a choreographer so um yeah, yeah. So, since you are into dancing yeah. you have watched the the was that the one in Korea, uh, Street Fighter? Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I, so, I which, well, which uh, do it. you do you like? Uh, Jam Republic, uh, Bebe. <laughs> oh my God, Jam Republic! I'm I'm a fan of them. Jam Republic, yeah. Kristen is a monster when it comes to the dance floor, right? Like she would. She's actually yeah, um, very yeah, of course. technical she's, um, wise. Uh, uh, she's formerly um royal mm -hmm. family. Right. She's she's actually I think the second um second something of the royal family, like next to the leader, right? Okay, so yeah. anyway, thank you so much for yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, let's have uh Bea. Hello, future teachers. Good morning, Miss Rocks. <clears throat> Once again, my name is Bea, 26 from Mulave, Zamboanga del Sur. So about myself, actually, I am a former ACAD soft shooter here way back 2021. I've been an ACAD soft for nine months, but I decided to end up here at ACAD soft because I choose to be a customer service on the same year. And also, um, the company also offer a work from home. So I've been a work from home for two years and six months. And I end this job yesterday. It's my last day. The reason why I end my job, because the company already announced that we have to back on site by first day of the May. So I know everyone how really very convenient when working at home. Like you just... You have to take your break instead of downstairs. You just sleep there and wait for another time. And when you end your shift, instead of traveling at back at home, you just go to your bed and sleep. You know what? So I decided to back here at Akasok, and this is the only words that I can say. You are in the great place, teachers. And hope to see you in the Akasok. That's all. Thank you. Hey, so I'm really happy to hear that you actually had a very good experience when you were working with Akinsok. 
Okay, and welcome back. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, move on with Mark. Mark, send me the link of your YouTube. Mark. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, send me the link of your YouTube. <laughs> oh, sure, later. Uh... Okay, I'll send it later. Can you hear me, guys? Clearly. Yep, loud and clear. Okay. Yeah, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Mark Anthony Versosa. I'm uh, from Leyte, Philippines. I um, I am 37 years old, so I only have three years left, and then I'll be 40, and then. I'll become a senior as well. <laughs> and really I'm... counting, huh? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm just a very simple person, but I love teaching kids. I've uh, mm -hmm. I started applying here in Akatsok way back uh, 2019, so I've been with Akatsok for more than three years to be exact. Uh, in fact, I had a lot of uh, regular students. I remember I have one uh, female student. She's uh, she always booked my my uh, lesson for two consecutive years. So I treat her like she's my younger sister. <laughs> but mm. unfortunately, when pandemic came and there was an issue with uh, the West Philippine Sea, you know, happening right now. Uh, my account in Akatsok got deactivated. Uh, you know, it's just an instant. And uh, when I tried to log in, because I'm supposed to have my lesson, I was shocked I can no longer access my account. <laughs> and then I did mm. my research, uh, what, ha what had happened really. and that's how I I find I found out uh, what happened to Akansak before <laughs> but I'm so happy uh, because Akansak is in operation again so uh, when that happened I applied at 5-1 Talk so I work as a center-based teacher in 5-1 Talk but it's really challenging because I have to commute. I have to spend money. Spend money, I mean, uh, for the fare. Then I decided to leave Five One Talk and then reapply here at uh, Akatsuk again because uh, Akatsuk I considered it as my uh, bread and butter because. You know, financially, Akatsuk helps me uh, uh, provide financial uh, help with for me and my family, especially for my kids and my wife during the pandemic times. Uh, aside from being an ESL teacher before, uh, I used to work in the BPO for seven years. I handled all kinds of accounts, uh, billing, sales, technical uh anything <laughs> just ask me about call center <laughs> and then i uh i got tired in working in the bpo because it's not uh I, i'm not really uh i don't see myself uh, you know uh staying in the bpo for so long because i don't I wasn't able to uh, buy the things that I that I really want, like a farm lot, um, wow, or a new home. So I decided to leave the BPO. Then I work as a real estate salesperson in Philippine homes. So I'm now a BRC accredited real estate salesperson. Aside from that, I'm also a licensed professional teacher. I uh, I passed last 2018, but I didn't pursue teaching. Because I've 
seen a lot of posts in Facebook. Some public school teachers are committing suicide because you know of uh, workloads, unpaid overtime. Um, you have to be very versatile in all aspects in life. So I I, I don't want a stressful job. So mm -hmm. since 2018 up until now, I never uh, uh, had a chance to or never even try once to apply in that bed. Because <laughs> uh, what I want is uh, I just want to, <laughs> I just want, you know, to be like a self-sufficient person, you know. Uh, so when I entered in real estate, I was able to uh, bought my farmlet. So I do have my own plantation of pineapples. So it's just wow. like intercropping. I do have pineapples and at the center I have bananas, everything, all kinds of fruit bearing trees. Uh, you can check it out in our Facebook page because I do have a Facebook page with that. Um, I'm also able to buy my own motorcycle because before I just ride a bike going to work when I used to work in a, in a center office here in Five Batoket Balok. And then uh, I realized I guess uh, for you to be happy in your life, it's not really having the things like other people should have. For me, my priority is health because <laughs> I'm really uh, uh, I'm really uh, in terms of health, I. I always make sure that whatever I put in the table, they are hundred percent just pure organic. Okay, nothing else. Wow. No pesticides. As much as possible, I want to make sure that I am a self-sufficient person. So I, I do have a rice field at home. Um, I have native chickens. So instead of the chickens that you bought in a supermarket, I grow my or produce my own chickens as well <laughs> so it's i'm really That's into right. farming yeah so it's like kind of like my interest is mixed you know uh, like in in terms of uh the new technology and then um the old technology so that's all about me of course hobbies i uh love playing basketball i'm really good in uh three-point shooting so because i really wow. admire Sorry. michael jordan <laughs> way back 1997 during the nba championship between utah jazz and chicago bulls so that's where my interest in basketball uh started <laughs> so i hope you guys has habits as well because you know having habits like being able to uh or having uh a hobby like Playing sports is not not only good for your health, but only also good for your mindset. It keeps you relaxed. That's true. It yes. can distress you, right? Exactly. And then you should have a cat at home. Because <laughs> I'm a cat lover. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Yeah, that's that's just just my advice. I just want to share what I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What I, I know, actually, normally do on a day. I actually like looking at. I actually like looking at cats. However, unfortunately, <laughs> very unfortunate, I'm allergic to them. Like, <laughs> whenever there's a cat near me, I keep on sneezing, like oh. nonstop sneezing. So fast. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay, right. but anyway, thank you for that, uh, Mark. Now let's move on with Joanne. Joanne, are you there? Joanne, Joanne, there. Hello. Yes, Can you hear me, Mom? Okay, sorry for 
for the background, I'm in my classroom. So, by the way, my name is Joanne Magtibay from Quezon Province. And currently, I am teaching, I am Bachelor of Elementary Education, a grade one teacher here in our city. And I have five children. One is going to college. That's why I enter into ACAD talk. And unfortunately, they, I am passed for the demo. Hope it will continue. And for the hobbies, as, as the others, I love reading books and also writing some poets. I'm writing. I love singing, even though singing is, my voice is not good as the others. And also, I love cooking. That's all. Thank you. Okay, so you mentioned you're in a classroom. So you're 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 a teacher by profession, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, what grade I are am you? Grade one for grade all the last sixteen years. Sixteen years. All right. Okay. So when it comes to online, this is your first time, correct? Yes. Yes. I see. All right. So thank you so much for that, um, Joanne. Now, anyway, um, thank you. I guess I already called everyone. Jenny, did I, I already called you, right? Yes, ma'am. Who, um, who did it I call? Um, me, Paul, ma'am. Christine, okay. I was yeah. actually looking at you, and I'm not quite sure if I called you or not. But go ahead, please. Uh, okay, so am I audible, ma'am? Yes, you're loud okay. here. Thank you so much. So I guess I'll be the last one to introduce myself. So good morning again. I am Christine Ailey Gaspi. I am I am 21 years old, so I am a, stu a college student. I'm currently studying Bachelor of English Education at Philippine Normal University, Manila. And I have no prior work experience solely because I am focusing 100% into my studies. But now I realize upon myself that I really need that experience or like that kind of field experiences to develop more about myself myself, and then as a teacher it is and to align my profession. So I entered ACADSOC by recommendation of my friend and also my classmate. And fortunately, I passed this that demonstration. So I'm really proud of myself because it is a first time for me to apply for any job at all. So yeah, I'm really proud of it. And for my hobbies, I'm I'm into watching animes and playing mobile games and then also taking care of two of my dogs. They are both males. They're just sleeping in front of me. So I'm kind of <laughs> envious. <laughs> so they're just sleeping at me every day. I'm 24 7 they're just sleeping. But they're they're pretty healthy boys. And uh -huh. I'm really starting into reading novels. Well, part of it because I'm a literature or language student, but also it finds it more of like a personal interest as well as my personal goal to have to nurture more for being a person or it can help me it can really help me as a teacher itself and for my another like i'm a part of a band but not that kind of a band like i'm a lyrist and time of for the church life for the church uh drum and lyre band for a decade but Due to the pandemic, so, you know, you can't really go to the church back then face-to-face. -face. They're only online. So, they were, they kind of like Lilo and then eventually stopped. Then all of the drummers and then the lyrists also went to college or job or family. That's why they just kind of like end. But most of the memorable experience was actually too. We were actually... Mm, exposed to a tv show please do not search it i'm still a kid <laughs> i'm still a kid there and then we played on a a foreign a foreign company i think it's not a company i think it's an organization or un at the pacc we performed there that's where my most memorable memories of being a liars unfortunately it is not that continuous as we are going to adult but I think it's still fun in playing for a little while. So I think that's it for my part. Thank you. All right. That's actually one of the one of the sad parts if you're part of an org, especially when you're still young, right? Um, eventually, you'll grow up and, you know, eventually you'll just realize 
we're we're already slowly parting ways, right? Like one by one, um, they're already doing their own thing, or you know, and then um, suddenly you're you're just going to realize, oh, it's just it's just the two of us. It's just uh, just the two of us already. Like uh, before, there were like fifteen of us, but now it's just um, you and me, something like that. You know, same goes with you know, um, in my in our training department. I Mark was uh, the old tutor here, right? So, yeah, before we did have um, what we call the MT department or material training department. So, so our department was actually the ones in charge of doing trainings for tutors when it comes to English for kids, you know, giving ideas, giving tips on how to conduct classes when it comes to young learners, different levels, um, IELTS and TOEFL. So I was actually part of that uh, department. Now, just like what Mark was mentioned, uh, there, something happened with ACADSOC, um, a sudden policy change. Then um, before there were like almost 20 of us. And then right now, uh, as of today, it's just me. I'm the only one left. <laughs> so, you know, um, I'm still in communication with the others, but, you know, it, it's it's somehow very different, right? Like before I had a lot of um, colleagues to talk with, but now, I still have colleagues, but you know it's not with the same department anymore. <laughs> Different department. So, yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for that, um, Christine. So this time, I guess I already called everyone, right? Okay. So anyway, teachers, um, thank you so much for you know sharing a little something about yourself. And nice to meet all of you. So I guess we can start now, teachers. Um. For those of you here who wasn't able to read our house rules, I will send it again. So please go through it while also listening. OK, so since we already have the house rules in our chat box, I'm going to add a little bit more of that. OK, now, teachers, um, for those of you here who have kids, especially if you still have a baby or let's say you still have a toddler, if ever that, you know, your kid wants to be with you while you're in training. Or let's say you need to your baby while you're in here, then that is totally fine with me. No problem. All right. I don't mind seeing kids there. However, um, as much as possible, I don't want any one of you to turn off your cameras. So, you know, just leave your cameras on, but keep the microphones on mute so that once we start, we're not going to hear any unnecessary noises. However, if you really need to turn off your camera, that's actually OK, but just make sure to let me know why. OK. Now, also, teachers, um, just like what was mentioned in our house rules, Instead of me doing our discussion, you'll be watching six training videos, okay? But no worries, because even if you're just going to watch these videos, I'm going to be with you the entire time. So if ever that while watching, you 